For today's video, we're going to get some gameplay with the new Mythic Constructor, Blakebeard the Blackhearted. You'll be able to get him after you complete the Walk the Plank quest, which is on page 5 of the Yard quest line. Anyways, here's what he looks like when you first get him. And we'll go ahead and spin him around so you can see the entire outfit. But yeah, that's what he looks like before you evolve him. Anyways, let's go ahead and upgrade him real quick. Alright, so after the first evolution, it looks like his outfit changed a little bit. It looks like his beard got bigger as well. But yeah, after the first time you evolve him, he gets like a, a new jacket as well as a bigger beard. But yeah, that's what he looks like after the first evolution. Alright, so after we evolved him to three stars. Oh wow, his beard's really big now. Wait, did he get a hook too? I think he also got that hook hand too. Oh, and he got the peg leg. Alright, so I think after the second evolution, you're going to get the hook on the hand as well as the peg leg. You'll get the bigger beard. And you're also going to get this steering wheel backpack on his back. So this is what he looks like after you evolve him to three stars. All right, so after we evolved him to four, oh, oh wow. Oh man, he lost his face and, and half of his, and his body. Oh, oh man. What the, uh, how the hell are you alive? His beard is also white now, and it looks like he has some seaweed on his outfit as well. And it looks like he also has a treasure map in his boot. But yeah, this is what he looks like after you evolve him to four stars. Oh, he sort of has like a blue glow now. Well, not that type of blue glow. Oh. You know what I mean. But yeah, once you evolve him to five stars, he gets like this blue glowing effect around his body as well as his face. And I believe that's the only thing that changed between this one and the last evolution. Everything else pretty much looks the same. But yeah, this is what he looks like when he's fully upgraded. Anyways, his three main abilities are rosy, plasma pulse, and decoy. And at the very bottom it says the dreaded captain of the stormy seas. And for his commander perk he has the avast mates, which increases cannonball damage by 20%. And his commander perk increases cannonball damage by 40% and it also converts your rosy ability to fire 25 cannonballs. And just like with other constructors he also has kinetic overload as well as base. And not only are we going to be getting gameplay of the new mythic constructor but we're also going to be getting gameplay of the new blakebeard stash team perk. Once you complete all of the yard quest and then go to your quest tab, you'll see a new hero quest where you have to find five Blackbeard stashes and you should be able to find them within any zone. And once you've completed all of the yard quest as well as that new hero quest, you'll be given this new Blackbeard stash team perk. And basically what it does is every time you get a kill, you'll have a 5% chance to uncover one of Blackbeard's stashes. And when you search those stashes, you can find peg legs, coconuts, as well as cannonball grenades. And in order to activate this team perk, you're going to have to have three pirates in your support team. And the three we're going to be using is Privateer Hype. And we're going to see if this increased club damage applies to peg legs. We're also going to use Crossbones Barret so we can get an increase in damage whenever we get a coconut from Blakebeard Stash. And for our third pirate, we're using Buccaneer Jonesy. And you can also use Kill Hall as well. And we're not really going to be using any pistols or swords. So it is sort of a wasted slot. But one thing I did want to point out is that Blakebeard also qualifies as a pirate. So if you plan on using a different commander with the Blakebeard Stash team perk, you could use Blakebeard as your third pirate. But like I said, we're going to be using Blakebeard. So uh, these are the three pirates that we're going to be using. For our other two slots, we have Demolitionist Penny, who's going to increase our launcher damage. And we chose her because we plan on using the Bowler as well as the Jabberwocky because both of those rocket launchers shoot cannonballs. And we're also going to use Century Gunner Earhart's War of the Rosie to increase our Rosie damage. And this is the loadout that we're going to use while getting gameplay with Blake Beard. Hot starboard up, uh, port side, J just look out. The hell, he sound, <laughs> I guess we'll go ahead and show what he sounds like before we get started. Ha, uh, 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 oh yeah. Ha, 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 do, do, da. So he really doesn't say too much when he's dancing. Oh yeah! But dancing with that wooden leg is still pretty impressive. Let's see if we can make him say anything else. You can't make me. I can't make you. Nope. Well, fine then. All right, let, let's try something else. I'm gonna make you speak. <laughs> We're gonna make you speak. I'm gonna make <laughs> you say something. Not likely. Oh, he's really talking shit. All right, hold on. Here we go. Yeah. You thought you said I wasn't going to make you say nothing. Whoa! <laughs> we're screaming now. Okay, we're screaming. 
So yeah, he doesn't really say too much when he's dancing, but he does say a couple of things when he sees Husk and when he uses abilities. And I'll try to point him out when we see him. Oh, oh we spawned the chest cookies. This is our first oh. Lake Beard stash. Watch your flags, we got husks. Oh, there's something else he says. And we got another chest. All right, so I guess the first thing we'll go over is this new Blake Beard stash chest. You'll have a 5% chance of getting these to drop every time you get a kill. And again, they can drop either peg legs, cannonballs, or coconuts. Okay, so with that one, we got four coconuts, four cannonballs. We got a 130 peg leg. Wow. Let's take a look at it. Oh, here it is. Here's what the peg leg looks like. And you won't be able to keep any of these materials after the mission is over. They'll just disappear from your inventory. Oh, 132,000, not bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop you a peg leg. There you go, Cookie. A what? Is it, wait, isn't this from your, from your foot? Yeah, go beat up some husk with my foot. All right, so let's go ahead and test it against this level 100 smasher. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna try to pay attention to the numbers. Looks like we did 130,000 when we crit. Oh, and the durability is going by really fast. This one's practically gone after one smasher. So they don't last long, but they do some pretty decent damage. The heavy attack with the peg leg is the same as it is with the force bill slugger. Got him! And we did 139,000 damage right there. Oh, we did 300,000 with the peg leg that time. That's the most damage we've done with it so far. And it looks like it can trigger kinetic overload as well. So that's going to help you deal even more damage whenever you deal enough impact. One other thing I wanted to do was test how much damage we did without Privateer Hype in our support team. Let's see how much we do when we crit. Oh well, 113. So yeah, I think having Privateer Hype will increase your damage when it comes to the peg leg. And I think the most we did right there was 227,000 compared to the 300,000 we did with her and our support team. All right, so next we're gonna take a look at his cannonballs. Here we go. See what it looks like. Oh, wow. Oh, there's some like extra explosions there. Let's see how many two. Oh, okay. So let's go ahead and throw it and not hit anything and see how it breaks apart. Here we go. Wrong. Oh, that's a coconut. Uh, there's gonna be like an initial explosion and then it breaks apart into three smaller bombs and then each of those explode. And I'll go ahead and show you an example of what that looks like. There's the initial explosion and it broke up into three smaller balls that also explode. It's very similar to the Jabberwocky rocket launcher, which also breaks up into smaller bombs that explode. Take her here. Looks like it can explode on contact as well. All right, so this time we're gonna test out our grenades on this level 100 smasher. The only thing is that uh, we're getting them at power level 82 in the power level 100 zone. So I don't think you're gonna be able to deal a whole lot of damage with them against smashers. So we threw 14 grenades at this smasher and that's how much health we took away. But they should be good against large groups of regular husks. A little help here. Help! What? Did Thanos just snap his fingers? <laughs> so let's see if it goes through the teleporter. Here we go. Oh, it does. So you can put like a teleporter at the end of your tunnel. And when you're shooting cannonballs or throwing cannonballs, if they end up going to the end of your tunnel, you can make them go back through your tunnel using the teleporter. And since we have Crossbones Barrett, in our support team, whenever we eat a coconut, we deal more damage. So I think the way you're gonna wanna do it is to eat your coconuts That's first about. and Thank then throw your grenades or use fast. your peg leg. But yeah, make sure you use your coconuts first so you can deal more damage. Uh, it doesn't help buff your teammates damage, but it will help heal them. So you can drop some for your teammates as well. So cookies, go ahead and try to open up these. I just wanna double check and make sure you can't open them. I can't open them. All right. So uh, you won't be able to open this chest unless you got the Blake Beard stash perk. Watch your flags, we got husks. Into that deep. Hello. 
Hello there, bone boys. I hear husks rattling around. The new pirate sounds fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he sounds like to me. Guilty! <laughs> hey man, it's 2019. I'm a better constructor than you. Look, look at this, look at this. Uh, my shit got double. What do you got? What? Mine got Please. double. Mine got a cannon. Mine got double. I got that BBC. That big black <laughs> cannon. So how are we going to do this? Look, this is you. Versus who she told you not to worry about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> at least I have a foot. All right, well, next up, we're going to take a look at his Rosie. Should I even have this? Uh, use a total of 50 energy. It actually looks like a cannon. <laughs> oh, wow. Smasher's got a bad attitude. So you get a total of 25 cannonballs. And look how much damage. Oh, oh, wow. We killed him in like five cannons. So yeah, right now we still got 10 left. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I like how it's black and gold. That looks really cool. As you saw, I guess that level 100 Smasher, you can do a lot of damage with it. And you can do even more damage if you put Sentry Gunner Krampus in your loadout. Looks like it explodes on contact as well. Let's see if we can shoot it real far. Oh wow, it keeps going. Wait, I can't even see. Cookies? Yeah. Uh, tell me if you see this. I'm a bit far away, but uh, whoa, he just broke a tree. Oh, and it has a three minute cooldown. Once you've used all of your cannonballs, you're gonna have to wait three minutes before you can use it again. And that is a long cooldown. All right, we'll go ahead and use the bowler on this level 100 smasher since we do more damage with cannonballs. Here we go. Oh, <gasps> we killed him with one cannonball. Oh, nice. We killed the level 100 smasher with one cannonball from the bowler. How many, how and the blaster. Uh, let's also test out this 130 Jabberwocky against this smasher. level 100 smasher. Here we go. See how many rockets it takes to kill him. Let me smash. Oh, oh my goodness. Don't knock me off, please. All right, so it took us four Jabberwockies to kill that level 100 Smasher. Here's your brother. Here's y'all's brother. His Plasma Pulse uses 40 energy and has a 45 second cooldown with our current loadout. And that's gonna last for a total of six seconds. And his decoy has a cooldown of 30 seconds and that uses 30 energy. And this is how big the radius is. And that's also going to last for six seconds. All right, so the mission we're going to do is this level 100 evacuate the shelter and Cookies is going to be helping us out. All right, so obviously with the evacuate the shelter, the first thing you have to do is go there and defend it. Oh, we have no weapons equipped. Embarrassing. I'm going to put turrets. Hold on. I just want that Jabberwocky. All right, there we go. Uh, I think we only have to get like 20 kills, though. Where are they at? Oh, here they go. Yep, I see them. But I'm gonna try to run around and try to get some black bear stashes and get some peg legs and cannonball nice grenades. Job. Okay, we got one chest, beautiful. Oh, we got two chests, even better. Oh, three chests. Can't have too many weapons. Oh, we got two more chests, beautiful. Oh. What the hell happened to my plasma pulse? There was no plasma or pulse right, here we go people here they come keep the shelter safe. i wasn't really ready yet but nope. protect the shelter until the survivors can be safely we have no more time oh we got nature enemies cookies Sail i thought you said fire it showed fire on my screen oh man we should not have built with metal it's all right uh, we're gonna start off with our grenades here and try to make sure we use all of them and then we may also pull out our peg leg as well. And then once we uh, run out of peg legs and grenades, we'll use our bowler. You can't Spirit, make that. There we go. I can't. Oh man. Oh boy. Uh, the good thing I like about getting these grenades and peg legs is that they can sort of help you save ammo. So that's one of the things I like about this loadout. Oh, we got one more. All right, let's go ahead and use Not our likely. decoy. 
No abilities. Oh, we got some more grenades. Perfect. Oh, we got another chest over here. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and equip the grenades again. And I'm gonna drop these. Um, oh, let's I forgot I could use my hammer. cannon as well. I almost forgot about the BBC cookies. <laughs> oh man. Okay. This, this might not have been the best place to put it. Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and try to use it anyway. Oh, it's good against shielders. Really good against shielders. Oh, nice. Uh, there's a dude breaking in on the other side. I'm going right now. I'm going right now. All right. I got the one spawning from the back. Oh, we do have a couple of defenders helping us out. We got Uncle using a uh, bundle bus. And we also have Grandpa using the obliterator. And they're up top there. Looks like they're changing spawns, though. Uh, they're coming from the south and the north again on this side. Over I can there. watch That's the north. Way. If you can get the cell. Oh wow, look yeah. at all that damage right there. Oh, oh man, they're jumping on me. Uh, but yeah, with the three minute cooldown, we should try to hurry up and use it so that way we can use it again at the end. So let's just go ahead and kill church. as much stuff as we can. As quickly as we can. We got one more. Okay, there we go, perfect. You can't make it. Let's go ahead and help cookies out over there. There you go. Thought you needed oh some God, help, man. He got like quadruple right there. <laughs> Look, it just keeps rolling, keep doing damage. So yeah, this is actually a really good loadout when it comes to the bowler. I'm liking the damage we've been doing with it up to this point. Let's go ahead and pick these up. Try to get some more grenades here. Nope. I have coconuts if you need them, Cookie. Got it. And I'll drop another Jabberwocky as well. Here, I'm going to go ahead and do it now. Uh, there's Jabberwocky. Oh, man. And there's Coconuts. Oh, thank you very much. Yep, you're good. Feeling better now. Whoa, there's a lot over here. Hold on. Let's go ahead and keep spamming our, our grenades. But actually, this is a really uh, fun loadout, in my opinion. Something is exciting one. Oh, are they breaking in? Oh, I'm checking it out over here. Uh, just try to replace whatever gets broken if you can. Got it. Uh, it doesn't look like the grenades go through shield or shield, though. Unfortunately. Not like the bowler does. Oh, we're out of grenades again. Okay. Oh, I can heal cookies if you need it. Got it. Thank you. It's making me nervous. <laughs> we should be okay. Let's go over here. There's the change in directions again. Oh, I didn't see him breaking in over here. Be okay. Be okay. They're coming from the east now. Not likely. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, man. Uh, just use your coconuts if you start running out of ammo. Got it. Until we get some more chests to appear, we're just gonna use our rocket launcher from here on out. As well as our Can't abilities. Be. Oh man. But yeah, the rocket launchers actually feel really powerful. Hey, help me out. And oh, we're, we're also going to try to use our BBC again. I don't know why I keep Whoa. calling it the BBC. <laughs> I have no Did idea. You see that? Like most of them went on, they like, like got flewed away. Oh, we got a chest over there. So we've actually gotten a lot of chests to spawn in on this one mission. I think I had like around six or seven spawn in before we started and we've had about five or so oh about six or seven spawn in during the mission let's go ahead and group them up real quick Can't do it. that's another thing i like about this loadout is that it has the decoy and i sort of need to be careful here because we got You're blasters you can't make me i was going to try to use the teleporters to like build a couple of tunnels but we didn't really have a whole lot of time to build and go for the chest so i didn't get a chance to set up the teleporter the way i wanted to uh we could probably get some more grenade oh we only got 14 seconds oh man that was quick the shelter is falling oh where did you need to attack from nope all right well that'll do it for our first blade card gameplay 
Uh, for those of you who have tried them, let me know what you think about them in the comments below. Nice rescue. And damn, I didn't get a chance to use another one like I wanted to. <laughs> but that's a really fun loadout in my opinion. Definitely recommend getting them. Anyways, we ended up getting a level 4 loot chest with some XP and gold. Oh, and that's it. Alright, well that'll do it for this one. Big shout out to Cookies for helping us out. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.